I'd like to invite Gail Fiegels forward to offer uh, a, a minute of reflection about the stewardship campaign. Good morning. Like many of you, St. Francis has been an important part of our family. We moved to Potomac from Northern Virginia and started attending church here in 1988. Church members of all ages extended a warm welcome to us and to our family. Eric was four, Amy a year and a half. They're now 37 and 35. Where do the years go? In our prior church, every time new members were received, existing members renewed their vows to uphold the church through their prayers, their presence, their gifts, and their service. We wanted to be part of a vibrant church where members acted upon that vow, and St. Francis seemed to be that type of place. We started teaching Sunday school, helping with house tour, and serving on the stewardship committee. We knew that a church could not be vibrant and respond to new challenges if members did not provide for the church's annual operating expenses. We also recognized that it was important to our own spiritual growth to make a financial gift that reflected our gratitude for God's faithfulness to us through good times and challenging times. Our family became more active through the years, and for a time, someone from our family was doing something at St. Francis nearly every day of the week. Prentice served 10 years on the vestry, including four as senior warden, and I have served in a variety of roles throughout our time here. What a joy it has been and continues to be to form the special bonds that come from worshiping and working together with others striving to serve God in this place. Some are no longer with us in this life, but they continue to support us in our work. My wish is that all of us at St. Francis continue to form those close bonds of affection that develop when we worship and serve others together, trusting in the Holy Spirit to guide us in all of our endeavors. Our church leadership wrote a compelling letter to the parish asking each of us to join others in doing what love requires of us. Yes, many challenges face us today, but God still has much for us to accomplish on his behalf. Let us support St. Francis with our energy, our experience and creativity, our unique skills, our time, and our financial resources. Father Mark plans to bless our pledges at the service next Sunday. If you have already sent in your pledge, thank you. If you have not yet had the opportunity to prayerfully consider your pledge, I encourage you to do so and submit your pledge this week so that it can be included with those blessed by Father Mark. May we continue to serve God through this wonderful community of believers. Thank you.